spell on Tommy Marcano is more to your liking. Tommy Marcano brought in a counterfeiter from Cuba, right? Sal spent a couple of months trying to print the money himself, but none of it was worth a damn. The color was wrong, printing was cockeyed, you name it. He needed someone who knew what the fuck they were doing. So he used his connections and found a man named Alvarez. And this Alvarez was also counterfeiting money for Castro. Most of our enemies counterfeit American money. Hell, some of our allies do too. Sorry, he's gone. What do you mean, he's gone? All you had to do is drive down to the goddamn lighthouse and pick him up. It's not my fault Alvarez is running all over the goddamn place. I wanted to lock his ass up, but you wouldn't hear of it. The last thing we need is Zaraga finding out that we treated his nephew like dog shit. You understand? Then Lincoln Clay comes in shooting the shit out of it. Lincoln Clay. Lincoln Clay. I'm so sick and fucking tired of hearing about this cocksucker. He's just one man. A fucking nigga. We're skating a thin line here, Tommy. You understand? This thing falls apart. We fucked all of us. So, what the fuck would you do? What the fuck would I do? Listen here. This ain't rocket science. If that fucking nigga got to Alvarez, it means he knows about the place. He's gonna come after him. You understand? Get your ass down to that motherfucking gym and protect them. Yeah, sure. I'm on it. This shit ends right here, right now. No more fuck-ups. Fuck me. According to these reports, Tommy Marcano had the money press in a boxing gym he operated. Tommy knew Lincoln was coming for the plates, but he felt he had to keep up appearances. The second he started canceling fights and shutting the place down was the second people started thinking he was out of his league. He wasn't about to allow that to happen. How did Lincoln Clay gain access to the gym? He had me track down a man named Alcee Bennett. Alcee is a small-time hustler that worked for Sammy until he double-crossed him and was kicked out of the hollow. After that, he scratched out a living recruiting fighters for Tommy's jungle fights. <laughs> if he vouched for Lincoln at the door, Lincoln could get in without a big ruckus. Alcee's by the briar patch, not far from here. I'll stop by and say hello, see how he's getting along. <laughs> Have fun! I need a vehicle in South Downs. On a lot. Just getting there warmed up. <laughs> well, fuck me running. If it ain't Lincoln Clay. Surprised to see me, Alcee? Mm, I heard about Sammy and Ellis. Tough break. I guess you made it out okay. Speak of them once more, and I'll slice you from here to asshole. Let's go. I'm taking a drive. Assuming I don't have a choice here. What do you think? Lead the way. fights, right? It is. And you've been recruiting black fighters for him. I have. Good. Because I want in. What? Why? I wanted you to know I'd have told you. If I'm sticking my ass out like that, I need to know why. Motherfucker, you lucky to be alive after what you did to Sammy. You really think he wouldn't notice you stealing all that money? Look, I paid for that a hundred times over. Six years, man, is the only place I ever call home. Christ. I couldn't even go see my mama on her deathbed. 
You made your choice. And now it's time to make another one. And I do this. You get a clean slate. Come and go through the hollow as you please. Oh. Okay. I hear if you win out, Tommy meets you in person. That true? He likes the size of the winners. See if there's someone he wants to bring on regular. Or if they're just a one-time deal. Where's this happen? Usually up there in his office. One of his guys will meet you in the locker room after the fight. He'll take you to time. All right. Don't take the front entrance. We go in and side them. Hold up, Alcee. Who the fuck's this? This? This is Jack Nap Johnson. What's he here for? Fuck you mean, what he here for? We here to fight, boy. Gotta search him. No weapons allowed. Do what you gotta do. Watch where you put your hands, motherfucker. Save it for the ring, dipshit. Go ahead. Locker rooms down here on the east. Hang back, boys. Motherfucker needs a doctor. Just dump him in an alley. Let nature take its course. You good now. Go on. How you know? Where you at, out seat? All right. I gotta go make the arrangements. Give them your name and such. You go on and get changed. Who you got with you tonight, LC? New guy. Guy looks tough. My money's staying on the brawler. I gotta ask you something, LC. What's that? Do all you niggas love beating the fuck out of each other? <laughs> so what happens if we get caught? Probably what you think. <sighs> For a chance to go home again, it's worth it. No matter what happens, we should go. This is it. You nervous? Should I be? Guess that depends on where all this ends. You're gonna head through these doors and they announce your name. Then make your way to your corner. Where are you going? Oh, I'll meet you there. This part of the show is all about you. They love showing off their fighting niggas. Through here. And the jungle fights continue, boys! The next challenger to face Nick Boom 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 comes in at over six feet tall. Weighing approximately 220 pounds, this is Jack Knight Johnson!
I can't hear you, assholes. Get loud. Making his way to the ring is the beast of the bayou. The rampage of River Row. Your champion. Because he buries motherfuckers? Well, yeah. So how do I beat him? You hit him really, really hard. to the locker room and collect your winnings. Where are you heading? Me? I got business to attend to. You niggas really know how to brawl. Uh, my respect, that's for fucking sure. You must think I'm some kind of goddamn moron coming in here like you did. I've never been one to shy away from a calculated risk. Maybe you should have. Mix some vegetable oil in. Mix the gasoline thick, sticky. We're just gonna let it soak in a little bit. Work his way into every nook and cranny. That way, when I light it, that shit's gonna burn like napalm. And you, you are gonna hurt like no one's hurt before. Fuck you. Guess you ready to die. You still be conscious as the flames creep up your legs. But as they burn, <coughs> you be hit in the gut with a sickening revelation. Before you die, you gonna feel your peck up burn. It's gonna curl and twist. <coughs> For some big company. Maybe run for office. Do something decent with your goddamn life, you understand? Should have listened to him. It's in the blood, you know. Yeah. You are who you are. No point in arguing with yourself about it. Fuck you. I don't deserve this! I don't deserve this! Don't worry, you and Sal will be along shortly. Your time down. is up, motherfucker!
fuck? You done. Oh, 
him. Let's go. He's taking out the whole team. Put him in the ground. God damn it. The kids joining the party. What happened to the money plates that Sal Marcano stole from the Federal Reserve? I don't recall. Georgie, get your ass in here. Your Uncle Tommy's dead. I thought you'd like to know. Sorry, Pops. I, oh, man, I know what he meant to you. And... He was a smart kid, your Uncle Tommy. Could have been anything. I tried to tell him, go to college. Even offered to pay for it. <laughs> Instead, he went to Cuba. It's not your fault. Yeah. Well, we're pretty well fucked now, you understand? I, mean, I was counting on that counterfeit money without him. Yeah. Well, now there's got to be something we can do. You go put the squeeze on people. Get to increase what they're kicking up. It ain't gonna be enough. Just because you poke holes in someone doesn't mean you're gonna get anything extra out of them. You could always call Leo Galante. Ask him to front... Fuck him! The whole reason I'm building this goddamn casino is to get out from under them worthless fucks. Now I bring in the commission, they're gonna wanna cut everything.
God damn it. Go on, get the hell out of here. I gotta make a call. Get out! Shit. Leo! <laughs> How the fuck are you? It's Sal. Yeah? Listen, I, I got something I need to discuss. I tried to reconcile the part of me that helped Lincoln with the part of me that vowed to follow the teachings of Jesus Christ. But I can't. You know what I remember? I remember watching the news and learning they had gunned down Dr. King. I remember watching people lash out, riot, because that's all they had left. All the while, Lincoln's in the other room, barely clinging to life. Maybe that's why I did what I did.